Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. If you can look in the back here, I have my backyard patio food forest and I wanna show you all what I have today. So I have a watermelon seedling um, that I planted on June, no, May 2nd. Today is the, what is it, June 6th. So she's ready to get put to some dirt. She's gonna take off, you can see there's already some roots at the bottom. Um, I love using these type of containers for my seedlings. And yeah, so I put two seeds in here, only one took. It's important to plant two seeds when you're doing your seedlings. That way, if one doesn't come through, then you can, um, you'll ha still have a seed. And then also, if they both take off, you can start to gently separate them. That way you have two seedlings or you can wait to see which one looks healthier and then cut off the other one. So that's a little tip. If you are growing your fruits and your vegetables from seed, um, I suggest that's something that you do. If you need more help with that or you have more questions about starting um, food from seed, let me know, put it in the comment section because I did start a lot of my fruits and vegetables. Well, yeah, fruits and vegetables from seed. And I also use seedlings that I bought from the store. But anyways, <clears throat> I am gonna be doing it in a Dollar Tree basket, you all. All you need is whatever medium you're using to grow your food, your seedling or your seed, because you can also grow stuff from seed in here. And then today is June 4th, just since so you all know it's been a little bit over a month. And then I have a regular plastic trash bag. You all, I got on my sandals and my mismatched socks, and that's just how we gonna live our life today, okay? So, <coughs> <coughs> it's early in the morning, y'all. Yeah. I'm still trying to breathe out here. Okay, so you just get up. I'll put the measurements of the trash bag, but this is perfect because it doesn't like slide off when you are putting your dirt in. It doesn't slide off over time when your plants are growing. So I really love this size of this trash bag. Spray paint this if you want. I don't know with the food and everything. I just didn't want to do all that. Plus I don't mind it being white and I don't mind that this is white as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with dirt. Something I do want to tell you is that this is really good if you are growing melons in containers. This could even be used for tomatoes, just one tomato and maybe some marigolds around it or some onions in there with the tomatoes. I have one where I have all my strawberries coming out. Then I have herbs and flowers on the top. So this is amazing. It's amazing and it's super cheap, super easy. And let me get through the rest of this video. This right here is just a mixture of sphagnum heat moss, which is a medium that helps with drainage and it helps with containing moisture in your containers. I mixed that with some potting soil that wasn't that good quality potting soil. It was like $2 for seven cubic feet. It's not horrible because I've actually grown some stuff just in it without mixing anything, but it is pretty dense. So I just mixed it with this to stretch it. Plus, you know, potting soil is not really even around right now. So whatever you can do to make your own soil, your own mixing medium to do it because this potting soil is starting to settle up, you know. So you just gotta find ways to make your own or to find some. So I'm just mixing it in this tote and then I transfer it into the container. All right, you all, so I have my uh, basket all the way full with a mixture of peat moss, uh, potting soil, like I actually added three different potting soils to this. It's all good. It's like pretty much the same like compounds anyways. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, add my, sh my uh, plant for you all and show you how that looks. All right, so before I even get started with... Um, putting my seedling in here I want to make sure I have some nutrients so I'm just adding a plant food and this is like supposed to be my measuring I don't even know if I'm measuring it honestly it smells really strong 
Let me see if you all can see me. Get me in the frame too, girl. I don't know, I'm just crotching down. So yeah, I just gotta look at the pot. So you don't have to mix this perfectly because over time, as it rains, as you water this plant, all this nutrients is gonna go down and then the roots are gonna find, the roots are gonna find the nutrients. So you don't have to worry about, you know, it being perfect, but I do try to mix it up in some type of capacity. All right, so you want to kind of overfill your container. You want it to be up as high as possible because once you put the water in it, it's like all the soil is gonna kind of seep down because there's a lot of air in between the soil right now. So you wanna make sure that you're putting more soil than you need. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is kind of hold my ceiling like this and this is really really moist um so i'm just kind of she's moist honey so yeah there we go took it out you want to make sure you put some water on your seedling i don't even have to really mess with the roots but sometimes you have to break up the roots you gotta break up the roots honey so i'm getting her in there and i'm kind of getting her centered that way she can just grow up and this is going to grow up a trellis i'm going to get some type of wiring for her to grow up i don't have anything right now but I'll figure it out, but she's still small right now. So what you would wanna do next is go ahead and fill this whole thing up with water. I don't have a lot of water in here because my one, my two year old watered all the plants this morning. So we're gonna do what we have, do with what we have. Don't get those leaves wet. Whenever you're watering your plants, try your best not to get your leaves wet um, because it can cause disease and all that having them wet and fungus as well so let me show you all what we have up here so this is our space you can see I'm all into the grass I'm super tired right now you all it's 12 o'clock it doesn't feel super sunny but it's 12 o'clock I'm out here outside and I probably need to drink some water but anyways I don't have space for her right now so I have to make some room shuffle some stuff around i don't freaking know and find a spot for her i don't even know why i did this right now because i do not feel like looking for a spot i just want to walk in the house but i know i gotta clean this up but anyways uh i'll come back you all with um my new kind of where i'm putting it so i hope you all can hear me we are out in the garden everything has gotten so much bigger since the last video and i'm potting up some more stuff but i want to show you all our water melon so i have it still in the trash bag you can see it's got bigger like I, I don't know if I said it but today is July 6th and I got this from my mom she literally said she found it on the side of the road and she thought of me so she grabbed it and this is perfect because as you can see my watermelon is already getting so big and look look at that we have a watermelon like <laughs> this is amazing so I have it um, I would have had it maybe like pull this all the way up and start from here but that was too much so I just let it go down there and it goes all the way up and as you can see those leaves everything is binding up and let's go around to the other side so over here oh, you can get these from the dollar store and kind of decorate your um, trash bags if you want so it doesn't look so humdrum but I have some more melons and then I have another one so I'm really excited got some smaller ones coming in and it's just growing so well so as it's growing I am just twining all the vein the veins the vines back into this part so it just grows around and around it's gonna get really big and crazy and bushy and fun I'm so happy but look how big this plant has gotten. It's gorgeous. I can't believe I grew this from seed because this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so glad that I decided to grow watermelons. And I'm so excited to start eating them. Like, I'm just so happy. Um, so, oh gosh, let's take, the, let's take off the bonnet. Um, but yeah, I actually still have the same hairstyle. I actually redid my hair and I have the same hairstyle as I did like a month ago I lost my voice it was my birthday weekend so I have been screaming hollering hollering hooting and I'm just excited for the watermelon plant and I thank you all for watching this video I'll probably do like an end of summer well I know I'm gonna do an end of summer harvest video showing you all the fruits and vegetables that we've been growing and harvesting everything picking it from our garden 
so make sure you stay tuned for that so i hope this encourages you to go out there um, and get different containers that you have around your home or from stores that are not that expensive it's really just about getting the right size container for what you're growing so as you can see watermelons take up a lot of space and they need a lot of nutrients and they need a lot of water so you want to get the biggest container possible and i was able to do that with a trash bag and a dollar store laundry basket and i just poke i forgot to show this in the video but i just poke holes through the side with the knife or a fork and just kind of poke through the side and it's been retaining moisture and it's been doing so well in that container so yeah let me know in the comment section have you tried this before will you try it and let me know is this is this channel is the gardening videos is it, is it inspiring you to start your own garden to grow your own food even if you just decide to grow flowers right um let me know i really really enjoy doing this it's so therapeutic it's fun my kids love it and i am like i didn't even pay attention to my watermelon plant today and i just like wait i have like five little melons growing on here so it's just so cool to see it um I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel. Share my videos with other people who you think will find it helpful, who enjoy the content. And thank you all for watching. Peace.